Hi, thanks for joining me today. We're just continuing on chance or design. How do we get here and everything around us? You know, when people think of uh, the evolution process, they, they, I've always thought that they're thinking, at least the way it's conveyed when I hear it, is they're talking about people. But they miss out on water and air and the planets and the plant life and the sea life and the, bear, the, the birds in the sky and uh, all the other animals in creation that that exist uh, <laughs> to think that it happened by chance it's it's kind of silly but uh, to to those serious people who want to use their reason common sense knowledge information science uh, to look at what really happened if you think that it's by chance then i would ask you how did these things happen this is number two in a series. And so we'll continue. Number six, the pumping heart and how it continues to beat millions of times in one's life. Interesting question. Someone posed at one point in time, I thought it was pretty interesting. What was evolved first, the veins or the blood that goes through the veins? And think about it. If you have veins with no blood, you have no life. If you have blood with no veins, you have no circulation and you still have no life. Pretty interesting. Number seven, the capabilities of the kidney, the liver, the stomach, and all the other systems of the working body, all working and needed simultaneously. And not only needed simultaneously, but also needed to be created simultaneously. I mean, you can't have all the systems of the body and not have a stomach. <laughs> And you can't have a mouth to feed the food in them. You, you needed all of those things, the components, to make them work all together for them to work. You needed air to breathe. Number eight, the planets held in space, moving precisely and consistently with very little change. Although they say that now the, the universe is expanding, which is interesting because God's word says he stretches out his creation. Number nine, why is there no semi-evolved people or animals alive or even evidence? There's not even a stitch of evidence of any half-evolved kind of uh, animal in, in existence today. And number 10, how can a person be born and be d developed with everything he needs in just nine months, but yet... The first one came around and it took billions of years to evolve. I know, research and development, right? <laughs> well, there you have it. Just some more things that I find so totally amazing to think that they happen by chance. No, I think we were designed. I believe God's word and I believe that God created the heaven and the earth and all the things that are in it on the days of creation. Thanks for your time. You have a great day.